Honorable Speaker, sir, fiscal management. 50 years interest-free loan to states. The entire 50-year loan to states has to be spent on capital expenditure within 2023-24. Most of this will be at the discretion of the states, but a part will be conditional on states increasing their actual capital expenditure. Parts of the outlay will also be linked to or allocated for the following purposes. Scrapping old garment vehicles, urban planning reforms and actions, financing reforms in urban local bodies to make them credit worthy for municipal bonds, housing for police personnel above or as part of the police station, constructing unity malls, children and adolescent libraries and digital infrastructure, and state share of capital expenditure of central schemes. Honorable Speaker, sir, fiscal deficit of states. States will be allowed a fiscal deficit of 3.5% of GSDP, of which 0.5% will be tied to power sector reforms. Revised estimates 2022 to 2023. The revised estimate, Honorable Speaker, sir, of the total receipts, other than borrowing, is 24.3 lakh crores, of which the net, net tax receipts are 20.9 lakh crores. The revised estimate of the total expenditure is 41.9 lakh crores of rupees, of which the capital expenditure is about 7.3 lakh crores. The revised estimate of the fiscal deficit is 6.4% of GDP adhering to the budget estimate. So budget estimates of 2023-24. Coming to 2023-24, the total receipts other than borrowings and the total expenditure are estimated at 27.2 lakh crores and 45 uh, lakh crores respectively. The net tax receipts are estimated at 23.3 lakh crores. The fiscal deficit is estimated to be 5.9% of the GDP. In my budget speech for 21-22, I had announced that we plan to continue the path of fiscal consolidation, reaching a fiscal deficit of below 4.5% by 2025-26 with a fairly steady decline over the period. We have adhered to this path and I reiterate my intention to bring the fiscal deficit below 4.5% of GDP by 2025-26.